Edia, we are a company focused on the early detection of breast cancer uh, by improving breast cancer screening. And we, we're kind of now installed in 36 countries around the world. And as you're going to see, you know, we, we've kind of cleared all the usual biotech uh, risk factors such as regulatory clearance, clinical validation, and so on. And, and really, we're into the sales and commercialization phase of the company. We are a software as a service company, and we've really made our name from measuring and quantifying uh, various metrics around breast imaging, such as breast density, such as the positioning of the breast on the mammograms, making sure the left and right breasts are symmetrical, measuring for the first time uh, breast compression, measuring accurately for the first time radiation dose, all key, all key indicators of uh, high-quality breast cancer screening and ultimately detection of, of uh, more breast cancer. A lot of what we do is driven by the FDA and other U.S. regulatory um, things, so measuring doses, there's U.S. FDA regulations around that. Also, uh, there's state laws around uh, telling women breast density, and uh, yeah, most of you guys are in Australia. Uh, over the last few weeks, you'll have seen Pink Hope, a big uh, Australian charity, really starting to drive that uh, breast density message home to Australian women. Uh, we believe that's going to uh, lead to a uh, much better market for us in Australia. And we're, still, we're seeing a lot of that uh, uh, happening now, uh, which I think is great for Australian women at the end of the day, so that's good. I'm also going to mention the FDA has got their uh, quality control guidelines equipped out. They did a survey recently, um, and they found 44% of sites would fail their equipped program if they were penalising sites today. So 1st of January 2018, the FDA starts penalising and there's going to be a lot of nervous sites. And again, that's helping drive uh, interest in what we do, and especially coming up towards our biggest trade show in Chicago, RSNA, where we, uh, yeah, we look forward to launching some new products alongside companies such as Primedicus, which is the other ASX company that, that uh, <coughs> usually sits there. Uh, as per the 4C, then we've got 25 uh, sign-up customers now to our software-as-a-service package, for Pirate Enterprise. Averaging around $60,000 per year. The uh, US sales force is uh, very stable, very buoyant, and very bullish around prospects. This, uh, we are now into the two strongest quarters for us, and it's usually it's capped uh, for us by RSNA, which is end of November, where you, where you tend to have a lot of purchasing decisions kind of finally made. So that's going to be a real exciting show uh, for us. And yeah, and uh, I'll just mention Anton Zell down here in Melbourne has picked up Imaging Associates, our first sale into, into Melbourne. And at some point, we'll organise a, a, a trip around that for you guys to, to uh, get a feel for it. And obviously, uh, some of you guys are in Sydney and Brisbane. Uh, we've got Sydney Breast Clinic, where we've had a few hosted um, tours around as well. And we're pretty close now to a deal in Brisbane. So we can do a roadshow around there and really show you live how, how we're helping women. So just in terms of progress, we've now signed... Uh, contract values this year, uh, after six months, equal to what we signed last year. So total contract value is, is kind of equal, which is great. And the annual recurring revenue, which is the real key software as a service metric, has gone from basically zero at the start of um, end 2016, up to around one million at the end of uh, FY17, which is April for us. And now it's sitting at just over two million. So we've kind of doubled it. At uh, this time last year, I was not giving forecasts, but I can now uh, stand up here and say we're going to exceed 200% uh, growth in annual recurring revenue, and that's a great spot to be in. Uh, cash in hand, we've got just over nine, or just about nine and a half million, uh, which is around uh, the current burn rates around um, 16 to 18 months worth of money. The, um, we said at the start of this year we were going to keep costs flat, and we're keeping them flat whilst ramping sales. And I think we've really proven that, and you're going to start to see me talk a lot more about SASE software as a service stuff. We went to a, a great technology conference yesterday uh, here, here, here in uh, Melbourne. So, yeah, we've got a very sticky product. It's, uh, the IT installation is very easy, so it's very scalable. And, and um, the, you know, the sales process is now very repeatable. So, yeah, these are all key things for software as a service companies to really start ramping and accelerating sales, not only to new sites, but also going back to the install base to upsell. The, I just mentioned yeah, the share price has, has really come up nicely now, uh, I think based on the, on the results, uh, Pink Hope and other factors. Uh, you are, just as a bit of a heads up to you guys, we are going to start couching our story much more in terms of 
technology, software as a service, big data and AI, which is really kind of the core of, of where we come from versus biotech so much. So, yeah, we've always kind of crossed over a bit, but uh, we're going to do a lot more technology shows alongside the uh, biotech stuff with Scott. And I'll just uh, finally note, if anyone's in the um, New Zealand tomorrow, we're going to have our office opening on Friday. Um, we're going to talk through some of the history of breast density. Uh, Monica Sahini, who's one of the GE's medical director for the last few years, has actually now moved to Wellington. She's starting to work for us, and that'll be her kickoff on Friday in Wellington. She's going to be a huge asset to us to have like a real customer, um, a real techie customer on site to help us through. Yeah, just in terms of news, obviously it's all about execution, but we are expected to sign a big UK uh, project with the UK and the biggest uh, breast cancer screening program in the world uh, quite shortly.